So you need to learn Cascader fast. Not a problem. Click home, samples, pick whatever rig you want. I'm working in Unreal 5, so that's the one we're using. Down you will see a blue keyframe. Let's say you wanted to duplicate it four times. You can do that by holding shift, middle clicking. We'll move this foot up here and the other foot up there. So now we have this. You can fit the timeline to your animation by clicking this button and then right clicking these buttons whenever you need. To smooth the animation, select all the keyframes, then use a Bezier clamped curve to smooth it all out. Then up here, turn on auto physics and see the preview of your animation. Cool. Now if you want to add secondhand motion, click what you want to add that to. For example, I want to apply extra motion to the arms. So I can do that by double clicking each arm. Now with all the keyframes selected, go under physics and check secondary motion. And at the bottom, turn the red square on. Change local blend to something less than 100 like 50 and the AI will add some in-betweens. Now if you want it to be smoother, you can always increase the dampening. And last, my favorite part about the program is if you want a more natural looking cooldown or recoil animation, just duplicate the last frame. Click in the middle, Bezier curve that, recalculate the physics, and bam, you're done. Automatically generated cooldown animations. If you like what you see, go up and click Snap to Auto Physics, which will basically bake everything in. From here, file, export FBX, import it to Unreal as a standard mannequin, and reap the rewards. Hope that helps, and as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.